Yo, 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 what's up? It's Dede here with another gameplay of the day. I'm going to bring you a gameplay talking about the major problems that are currently going on with Battlefield 2040. So the first issue is 3D spotting. Now, in this game, it seems like when you get spotted, it takes absolutely forever for that spot to go away and almost impossible for you to live long enough for it to even go away. And not only that, when you get spotted, it's not just the squad that can see it that spotted you, but the entire team that can see you. So I believe one of the things they need to do is nerf how long it takes before the spotting goes away or only the squad can see you that for the person that is associated that spotted you. Because when you get spotted, it seems like 15 different snipers from all different types of the world are just sniping at you immediately and that's what's causing a lot of people to die really, really fast. So 3D spotting, once again, needs to be nerfed. The next major issue comes from Boris himself. Especially in Breakthrough, it seems to just run rampant. There seems to be a sentry gun in every single corner. And what makes it even worse is whenever you kill the player that laid down that sentry gun, the sentry gun still stays there. That would be one fix that I would absolutely throw in immediately, is to have it that when the player dies, the sentry gun is destroyed. So this way, it isn't still reaping havoc on the map when they're no longer alive. I also think that the range and the time to kill for these things is absolutely ridiculous seeing how it takes so many bullets to destroy them. And the sentry turret is not even the only problem. If you think about the aimbot ranger dog, that's another one. It can just lock onto you, it seems like, from 1,500 meters away and just destroy you in a matter of seconds. And you don't really have any time to respond. Add that to the 128 or if you're even playing with 64 player breakthrough or any other map shooting at you you just don't have a chance the next flaw in the game actually hits home to me like it probably does with a lot of you and that's that none of the suppressors work the way they're supposed to or we're just being flat out lied to in the description you know when you put a suppressor on you're not supposed to pop up on the mini map that's at least what me along with a lot of other people and you're probably included on it think that i put the suppressor on and i won't be showing up on the mini map Wrong. Along with you being spotted by everybody else on the map and every other gadget that there possibly is, every time you shoot your suppressed gun, guess what? You're actually showing up on the mini-map. It does no good to put a suppressor on. It is just hindering you. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor. Leave a like and a comment down below. What's your favorite map to play on? And also, what is one of the worst problems you're experiencing with playing Battlefield 2042? This next one's not actually a flaw. It's kind of like a tip to help you out. In case you're wanting to know what the meta is for the game, currently it's the PKP. And if you don't know what the PKP is, it's basically an assault rifle with a 200 round mag. So if you're not running that thing yet, it has no recoil whatsoever, it's a complete laser beam, you need to be running that. If you've unlocked the K30, that submachine gun is absolutely, wait for it, legendary. And yes, I stole that line from How I Met Your Mother. Now, this next flaw actually seems to be one that repeats itself in every battlefield. So I know it's eventually going to be fixed, and probably within the next update. At least I'm hoping. And that is the net code. The net code seems to be hindering whenever you find yourself running behind cover and you die. Because you actually weren't behind the cover enemy screen, you were still in front of the cover or out of cover. So that's the reason why you died. So that is something that's been going on. I've noticed it a lot, especially lately, that whenever I run behind cover, I still die. And it's from someone who is absolutely on the opposite side of that cover. There was no way they could have killed me. And that's because of the net code. They need to be fixing that, and hopefully it comes real soon. I've been a huge fan for Battlefield for years now, and the fact that this one doesn't have that much destruction breaks my absolute heart. It has very limited destruction, and I'm hoping that within the next upcoming maps, they actually change that and add in a lot more. You know, in Battlefield 4, you could destroy an entire building. And it would just come on down on top of people. You could get kills out of it. There was no safe place in Battlefield 4. That one is my absolute favorite. You know, you saw the same thing with Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5. Everything was destructible. I really think you need to be bringing the destruction back. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.